ChemMagic allows you to draw and see the, your Lewis structures in three dimensional dimensions. It also allows you to check your work on things such as the molecule polarity, the hybridization. So I'm going to show you just quickly how to use ChemMagic. If you want to draw a molecule, you can click on the draw button. If you want to clear your screen, that's what this white button up here is for. So we want to draw carbon dioxide. And from the Lewis structure that we already drew, we are going to add a double bond that, that we observed. We need another double bond, and we need our oxygen. So this is our carbon dioxide. Now we want to load the model. And here is our model. Now before we make any measurements, we do want to make sure that we click the Optimize button. This makes sure that the molecule is in um, the shape and the bond lengths are appropriate. You can click and drag and that allows you to turn your molecule around if you would like. If you want to measure bond lengths, you click on length and you click on any two atoms. So you can click on the carbon and our oxygen, it'll measure the bond length. Now you may have more than one bond length that you need to measure and so you can measure any bond length that you want. If you want to find the angle, you click angle and now we have to click on three different atoms in order to get the bond angle of our molecule. Sometimes you have to move it around just a little bit so you can see the the numbers that you um, that are displayed. If we want to check to see what the hybridization of molecules are, we start with sp3. You can click sp3 and when you start to see orbitals that's when you know that it is the proper hybridization. So we go to sp2, see how we now have orbitals and so this would be our oxygen here would be sp2 hybridized. If we click on sp now we see more orbitals and so the carbon is sp hybridized because we can see the the orbitals. If you want to go back to the ball stick you can you can see those orbitals. If you want to see the polarity you can click on the MEP. MEP shows you the polarity of the molecule and where it, there's more electron density and less electron density. So because this one is very symmetrical, there's not a greater portion or a greater amount of electron density in one area than the other, you can, this would be a nonpolar molecule. The bonds would be polar, but the mo molecule overall would be nonpolar. This does take a little bit of playing around with, particularly when you're drawing your structures can take a um, but please feel free to play around and draw each of your Lewis structures from the assignment.